Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a cold one. It is negative two degrees Celsius out right now. We're out in the open, it's quite windy. And as you guys can see, there's finally snow on the ground. So Boomer and I, we're out here on a hot tent overnighter in a little bit of a different tent. This is a DIY converted tent. It's a backpacking tent I made into a hot tent. So no, it did not come like that and i'm hopeful that we're going to stay nice and warm in there tonight so we've got the tent stove sleeping bag air mattress all set up now it's time to collect some firewood and get started on a hot drink because it is quite cold out and we did hike in a little way so we're going to get the axe out saw collect some firewood and start that fire
right, everybody. Got a hot cup of coffee on a cold, crisp, windy day. Can't beat that. So we're rolling in on just about sunset. It is getting rather dark out here. It's cloudy, it's moody, it's windy, and it is almost bitter cold. My hands are starting to get really cold. Now I did bring a pair of gloves. I just much rather prefer bare hands. I have more dexterity to grab and touch things. Plus I got a hot cup, I've got pockets if I need to get warmed up, so I'm not terribly worried about that. But it is starting to drop in temperature. There were little flurries of snow starting to pass by moments ago, so fingers crossed we get some snow. That would be amazing. So the wood stove is burning really well right now. Now one thing on this tent I will mention, it is a DIY hot tent as I mentioned earlier, and yes, the whole bottom of the tent is wide open. There are no snow skirts, so that means this is not going to get very hot, which is pretty obvious, but I never burn my wood stoves all night. I always rely on my winter sleeping pad and my winter sleeping bag. Two reasons, one, I don't wanna wake up and load a stove all night long, and two, if you rely on a stove to keep you warm, it is probably the number one rookie mistake of beginners getting into hot tenting. Never rely on your wood stove to keep you warm. Always rely on your sleeping bag your sleeping pad use the stove as a luxury because anything can happen so with that tent it will get hot in the winter time when I put snow up on the side to create a snow skirt tonight it'll probably get about 15 degrees Celsius inside which is gonna be a difference of about 20 degrees between inside and outside so yeah it'll get warm certainly <laughs> Boomer has just woke up from his nap so you can tell that he was a little warm in there uh, but it will get warm it will not get hot winter sleeping bag, winter sleeping pad. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee. See Boomer is awake, ready to go, and probably getting a little bit hungry, which brings me to my next task, start on supper. So cheers everybody, hot coffee, a little bit of a break, and then we're gonna start on supper. All right, everybody, coffee break is finished with and it is getting dark very quickly. So I've got to get cooking if I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing without fumbling around with a headlamp on and that stuff. So what I got for supper is really simple. Brought a couple things here inside of the pot. So I brought this Bombay mix. It's basically dried Indian food. It has all kinds of things in here, corn nuts, uh, peas, dried little bits of this and that. I have a pack of miso soup in there as well. I brought some olives in a little sealed pack here. And I also brought two packs of ready-made rice and a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna put all of this together inside of the pot, get it on the wood stove and have a really simple dish. Super, super easy. Boomer actually really likes this. He ate a bunch of it last time we were out camping. So definitely gonna be good. It's nothing extravagant. It's just really quick, really fast, eat it get inside and get warm. So I wanna get started on this inside of the pot and hopefully finish up before it's too dark and be able to kick back, get out of these heavy clothes and zip the door shut, enjoy some of the heat from the stove.
All right, guys, it is definitely cold outside. So give you guys an update on temperature. It is plus 22 degrees Celsius inside the tent, negative three degrees outside of the tent. And that's with the bottom wide open. Keep in mind, heat rises. So the heat is gonna rise and get trapped inside of the tent. There is a cool breeze blowing through here, but honestly, sitting up, you don't even notice it. So we're actually quite warm. Boomer is snuggled up here in my wool sweater right now, and I'm almost have to get out of my hoodie. To be honest, it is super warm up here sitting down. So it is gonna be a warm night for sure. I'm not gonna burn it all night as I never do. I'm gonna stoke it up with some of these really hard pieces of wood, these really dense pieces of maple. Probably two or three rounds in there and let it burn. When it goes out, it goes out. And I should probably mention the firewood. So when I was collecting firewood, I collected a whole bunch of birch. I cut it, split it, it was soaking wet. So I had to go back into the woods and find a really, really nice dead standing piece of maple. That's what I'm burning primarily. I've got the birch wood surrounding the stove, so that'll dry out overnight. And this is basically gonna be the primary wood for now. We'll try the birch in the morning, but it was just too wet to start the fire. So I just stoked up the stove with more of this maple. It's gonna take a moment or two to catch. And once that goes, it's gonna start throwing some heat in here. So I'm itching to get out of my boots, get them set next to the wood stove, let them dry out. Boomer is pretty much just gonna to go to sleep. I did bring his sweater. I'm not sure, here it is. So I'm gonna get him out of his jacket and hang that up on the hook, let that dry out overnight. Put him in his little hooded sweater, which he loves, little frog dog. Um, and that's what he's gonna sleep in inside of the sleeping bag because he's a big baby. So he'll be inside of the bag with me and we're gonna have a good night in here. So he's fed, I'm fed, we're ready to relax guys. So like I said, that thing's gonna kick out some heat once that ignites. During that time, I'm gonna get changed, crawl in the sleeping bag and start relaxing.
Good morning, everybody. It is a crisp and cold, cloudy, moody morning up on top of this mountain. So the temperatures last night were a little strange. It got down to negative two and a half, negative three degrees Celsius. And then it warmed up and it actually started to rain early, early this morning, about 5 a.m. to about when I got up and got outside of the tent. The temperature has since dropped back down to about zero to negative 0.5 degrees Celsius. And it is actually starting to really, really finely snow. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but there is a trace of snow in the air. Boomer is up and ready to go. He's got his sweater and jacket on. We've got the wood stove cranked up, hot cup of coffee on the go, and we're ready to start today. So we're gonna chill out here for a moment. Boomer wants nothing but cuddles right now. He's desperate for it. I am going to enjoy my coffee. He's going to enjoy his cuddles and then we are going to take the day from there. So good morning, everybody. Cheers, morning coffee. All right guys, coffee time is just about finished with and the winds are starting to pick up. The snow is still maintaining. It's still kind of flurrying off and on a little bit. And I'm gonna take advantage of this time while the wind is not too crazy to start packing up because I'm gonna be in and out with the door open with my back turned to the tent. And typically when you have a tent with a vestibule area with the door open, it acts like a wind sail. So you really wanna watch it. I've been finding that this particular setup actually works really, really well, but I don't want to push my luck because I am in the open and the wind is pushing hard this way. Boom, are you going to come in? So I did load two more pieces of wood inside of the stove. We're going to let that basically do its thing, burn out, build some heat. I can feel it in here right where I'm at now. It's actually quite warm. So I'm going to take advantage of that and start the pack up process. I'm just going to deflate my mattress here if I can reach the valve end and slowly start packing up, get the stove burned out, get that out, get the tent packed away and head on the trail. All right, everybody, finally got everything totally packed up inside the backpack, ready to go. You guys can see where the tent was situated. It was rather flat, but it is still quite rocky. So it was a little bit of a challenge getting the pegs in the ground. The temperature is all over the place. So right now it's floating at plus one degree Celsius. It is sleet kind of slush, rainy snow right now. The sun's starting to make its way up in the sky. So I think it's actually gonna warm up a little bit today judging by the sky the clouds are opening up feels like it's getting a little bit warmer so i'm going to get boomer's jacket off he's going to hike in his sweater i'm probably going to take my wool sweater off as well strap it to the outside of the pack because we're going to be moving quite fast and quite heavy through the bush i do want to point out 
Before we go, I'll move my backpack out of the way. All of the firewood that I did not burn. So there is probably about 24 pieces of beautiful hard dry wood here that I did not burn and I was warm all night long, of course, with my sleeping pad and sleeping bag. Boomer was inside of the sleeping bag with me. He likes to cuddle up in between my legs, facing up with his head and chin resting on my belly. And what I do is I unzip the mummy bag a little bit so some air can get down there and we both stay plenty warm just like that. So I thank you guys very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the adventure and until next time, peace out. We'll see you in the next one.